anointing for perfection. All the anointings that have come upon your life will stay with you forever. And this man, God will do something new in your life. Touch your neighbor. Say, this man, God will do something new in my life. Anointing for perfection. Psalm 18, 30 through 36. I'm reading one or two, three scriptures. Then we'll rise and pray and see what God has for us for this afternoon. Psalm 18, 30 through 36. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God? God save the Lord. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God which guarded me with strength and make it my way perfect. This month, God will make your way perfect. God will make your way straight. The word perfect simply means straight. God will make your way straight. Amen. He says that he maketh my feet like his feet and set me upon my high places. God will give you stability this month and he will set you upon your high places. The month of March is the month of marching forward. Everything about your life shall be perfected in the name of Jesus. David said he makes my feet like his feet. In other words, God gives me speed. Somebody say speed. There is an overtaking anointing that is coming upon you this afternoon. God will give you speed. Somebody shall speed. He teached my hands to war so that a bow, a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. Thy right hand has holding me up and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me and my feet did not slip. You will not slip. I said you will not slip. Now perfection, perfect. Two word groups in the Hebrew Old Testament are translated perfect or perfection. The Hebrew translation for perfection is tamam. Somebody say tamam. Or, or kalal. Tamam or kalal. This connotes wholeness. So this man, God will make you whole. This way God will make you whole. It connotes wholeness, connotes soundness, connotes integrity, and often takes on ethical significance. The latter connotes completeness. Somebody say completeness. God will complete whatever he has begun in your life. Any business he has started, he will complete it. Any breakthrough he has begun, he will complete it. Completeness, perfection, and can carry the aesthetic sense of comeliness or pleasant to look at. This month will be pleasant to look at. God will beautify you. Any area of your life that is ugly, God will beautify it. This week, any department of your life that people are not pleased, people can look at it with, with pleasure. God will beautify that area. That when people begin to look at you, they will see the beauty of God on you. They will see the glory of God on you. They will see the hand of God on you. If your amen was a little bit louder, it would have been your portion. In the New Testament, the Greek word predominantly used meant complete or mature. Complete or mature. And perfection is the highest degree of equality. The highest degree of equality. It means that this week God will take you to the highest degree of your destiny. In other words, you will not stay down. You will go up. You will not be low. You will, he, will, he will lift you to the highest level of your destiny. In business, in marriage, in relationship, in every department of your life, God is about to lift you. Touch your neighbor. Say, God is about to lift us. Perfection. He's about to complete us. He's about to make us mature. An embodiment of perfection. Look at Psalm 138 verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. The Lord will perfect. He didn't say husband will perfect. He didn't say your pastor will perfect. He said the Lord will perfect. If God perfect, who can unperfect? Speak back to me. If God completed, who can make it incomplete? I prophesy over your life. 
May Jehovah God perfect everything that concerned to you. Perfect your business, perfect your marriage, perfect your destiny. Lift your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus, everything concerned my life. Lord, perfect. This month is somebody's month. I don't know who I came here for, but I said this month is somebody's month. There is somebody that needs perfection in one area or the other. I stand here by the apostolic and prophetic mandate on my life. I make a proclamation over your life. Any area that needs to be perfected, may Jehovah perfect it. May Jehovah perfect it. Somebody shout perfection. Perfection. Perfect it. Make me whole. Make me complete. Beautify my life. Colossians 4.12 Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. That ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, this new month, do a new thing in my life. Lord, this new year, do a new thing in my life. There are some of you, ever since we entered 2015, God has not done anything new for you. God will do something new for you this month. I said, God will do something new for you this month. I feel in my spirit that a new job is locating somebody. A husband is locating somebody. A wife is locating somebody. In the name of Jesus, we declare something new to happen in our lives this month. In the name of Jesus. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you always, laboring for blame for you in praise, that ye may stand perfect. May your business stand perfect. May your marriage stand perfect. May your ministry stand perfect. May your finances stand perfect. And complete. The Bible said in Philippians 1 6, He was begun a good work, will complete it until the day of Jesus. There are many of you that God has started a breakthrough process. And as we end the first quarter of the year 2015, in this new month of March, God will complete that breakthrough project. God will complete that testimony project. God will complete that miracle project. He started something with you in January. He started something something with you in February and he's completing it in the month of March. No devil can stop it. No principality can stop it. No powers of darkness can stop it. No friend can stop it. The enemy cannot stop it because God is perfected. Whatever he has started in your life. I make a proclamation over your life. I make a decree over your life. I make an announcement into the camp of the enemy that that which our father in heaven has been can in our lives in this month of March may he complete it lift up your right and say Lord whatever you have begun complete it complete it complete it complete it complete it everything has a beginning everything has an end very soon the whole building will be completed then you go like wow this thing started small it was moving gradually. Now everything has been completed. He's the God of the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. He does not begin things and drop them halfway. Whatever he begins, he completes. Therefore, if you are seeing signs of a breakthrough coming in your direction, can I prophesy? If you are seeing signs of money coming in your direction, if you are seeing signs of promotion coming in your direction, if you are seeing signs of healing looking for you, if you are seeing signs of breakthrough coming in your direction, I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Yeshua Hamashiach, before this week is over, may the signs be settled. May the signs be settled. May the signs come to pass. May the signs manifest. May the breakthrough be settled. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Look at somebody's prophecy. Psalm 89 verse 27. 
Psalm 89 verse 27. Also I will make him my firstborn. Higher than the kings of the earth. Who are the kings of the earth? He said, I will make him my firstborn. Higher than the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth are the people that matter. Are influential people. Are people of wealth. Are people of authority and power. He said, I will make you higher than the kings of the earth. It means that what he began in your life in January, we are in March. And in this new month, God is making you higher than the kings of the earth. Any wealthy individual around you, anybody who matters in your life, anybody who is influential at your workplace, God is making you higher than them. I wish somebody is ready to receive the grace. Receive the grace to be higher than them. Receive the anointing to be higher than them. Receive the power to be higher than them. Say in the name of Jesus, I am higher than the kings of the earth. You are higher than the people that matter. You are higher than the wealthy people around. You are higher than the influential people around. He has started something in your life. The other day I was telling somebody that when God begins something and you are not seeing, it means the thing is taking root. You may not be seeing it physically with your eyes, but the thing is taking root deep. And as it goes deep and God begins to perfect, it will begin to blossom. It will begin to spring forth. And all of a sudden, you will be made higher than the kings of the earth. In other words, the people that have gone ahead of you, the people that have taken the lead, the people that think they have arrived, an anointing is coming upon you. And when that anointing comes upon you, the first shall be the last. And the last shall be the first. Who am I speaking to? May you be higher than the wealthy people. May you be higher than the influential people. May you be higher than the people that matter. In the name of Jesus. This month is your month. I said this month is your month. I'm not preaching. I'm reading scripture. I'm not preaching. I'm reading scripture. Rise. Let's pray. Rise. Everybody.